What do we got here? Marksman spec or aerial spec? This is interesting. We've got really good clear and a marksman. My interest in games is pretty niche. Is it? Maybe. Frostbuck 2 is interesting. I don't know, it's hard for me to get excited about Frostpunk 2 when I didn't enjoy the Frostpunk like extra campaigns very much. Like the first campaign was great. But the extras I just couldn't get into. I don't know how they'd recapture the feeling of the first campaign. I don't know if I want chaff here. Like, I think it's probably just this. Does he's cost you a fortune? Yeah, I get that. I still haven't bought Elden Ring. In general. I'll probably pick it up next time it goes on sale, but... It's just, again, not really my type of game. Though if I was going to play any kind of Souls-like, it would probably be Elden Ring. Hmm. We are rich. Designs. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely get it. The Dark Souls aesthetics are pretty cool. RPGs? No. Was not big on Baldur's Gate. So you could take the Overlord, or... We just grab some saber tooths so that we can anti missile them eventually. And then this is crawler crawler. So that we have chaff. PG3. I just... It just didn't click with me. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's, like, any RPGs in general that I'm big on. Like, I've played a bunch of RPGs that are popular, but they're just never the type of game that I'd gravitate towards. My tower.
Yeah, like we played Witcher 3 on stream. If anyone was here for that, they know how that went. Uh... I guess the Yakuza games were cool, but... I feel like those were mostly just cutscene simulators. It's just gonna clean up, right? Oh, or we tie. That's also fine, I guess. Okay, imagine we are getting run over here. Subsidized collars. Where's Yeah? Yeah, sure. Take the levels here for now. Let's make more. Storm colors are just good. You have the ability to tech anti missile. You don't. Take the upgrade. Low expectations from the dev or something. I'm not familiar with the, the series. Original devs were fired. Oh no. Wait, isn't that game like super old? Early two. That's what I thought. So wait, did they get? When did they get fired? If they got fired, that's it's a long time to be at one company. One or two years. <laughs> wait, so they fired the original dev team right before making the sequel? <laughs> How does that make any sense? Wait 20 years for a sequel. Immediately before, get rid of the dev team that made the original. <laughs> oh, let's range the marksman. We still want more marksmen. Let's do that this turn. Gonna bias towards this side since it's got more storm collars. Let's 
original team is about to finish the sequel. That seems like the worst time to get rid of a dev team, but... It also sounds like there was probably a reason for it. I don't know. Very strange. Towers. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Pretty good XP. Yeah, just usually when you have a nearly finished project, it is pretty much impossible for it to be cheaper to get a fresh team to clean it up. I would expect a game studio to know that, but especially a game studio that's been around for a long time. A little worried about these whirlwind rhinos. It might be a problem. I guess I could attack the EM on the collars. Oh, or the whirlwind rhinos are just gonna melt. That's also a thing that can happen. Means green has to deal with the boss, which isn't 
necessarily what we want. Like, as the marksman comp, I don't mind dealing with the boss too much. Gotta take range spec. Um, if I'm worried about not being able to kill the field maintenance. I don't want to have some shield fangs. Let's get these down. And I guess I'll take range now. Hopefully the side's not too soft. Definitely might be. The side is looking real soft. Kill the factory early. Yeah, we're fine. Rates are so tanky. Surprised every time. Give me just level two. Level two, no item. Marksman, though. A level 9 marksman that moves faster than the War Factory. Uh. Okay. See a lot of green. You can get a level 4 fortress. Uh... Get some Vulcan. Okay. I think we're leveling the overlords. Still want portable shield. Take range instead of incendiary bomb. Been a little under leveled from where I'd like them to be.
Stormcaller is strong. We should take range. Mm. I don't think we need incendiary. I don't think we need EM either. Might just need more marksmen on the side. Let's try to not lose this tower. Take a lead. Bang's mm. a little bit too slow. Storm colors strong. Also, fangs very strong. Take this and oh, maybe we keep it. Eh, probably selling it. I want these upgrades. Make sure that matters more. Let's try to not get these marksmen killed early. get range. Um, do anything two fifty. Eh. Guess that's fine. Gets me a couple more marksmen.
Didn't lose that much. That is a brutal asset, though. Still gonna be there next round. Now we just get the third party and get points here. Probably take the lead. He's getting second this game. I think I try to clear. I think that's my best bet. difficult boss unit generally uh i think the either the melting point or the vulcan depending on what your comp is anything with barriers gets really tough yeah i suspect we're probably getting second here but Because, like, if blue wins, they probably win by enough to take first with hackers. Yeah. not winning. They're all just outside of the acid. They were all just outside of the acid. Now they're not. Hurry up and get out of there. Engaging inside the acid. Red might not win by enough. We could also just, you know, win. Okay, red doesn't win by enough, we're good. Cool. Flame got a decent update. Goals to make runs feel like they have variety. Did they not before? I don't know. Maybe I just didn't play enough. Did they get really samey with the same units being the thing that you should always go for? I think I only played like 10 or 15 hours of Last Flame. Game was cool. But I guess did feel like Gonna get old after a while, let's put it that way. Plus 10. Okay. 
I'm going to take